exciting edition of interactive Bible study where we study to show ourselves approved of God. You are all welcome in the name of Jesus. We are so happy you are able to join with us. Thanks for watching as we are playing the intro. God will bless and honor and prosper you in the name of Jesus. My name is Chris, Pastor Chris of Body of Christ Center, and I help my wife, Pastor Funke. God bless you. Good evening. Welcome to Bible study. This is interactive Bible study. We pray everyone will be blessed. And I thank Amen. you so much for joining this broadcast. We don't know life is going to be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. You are all welcome in Jesus' name. Welcome once again. I know the Lord will meet you at the very point of your need through the word you will hear tonight. And the word is dynamic. The word is powerful. The word is sharper than any two. So what? The word can go deep down where no Amen. word can get to. This is the word of God sharper than any two. And so on. And you know, you know that when you are on, um, you are with us, the Lord will work his wonders and miracles and touch you like never before so welcome to interactive bible study where we study to show ourselves approved of god hallelujah you are welcome god bless you this is your journey don't come alone invite somebody yes. tell them it's bible study i know what it is interactive we are all doing the bible studies together and the lord himself will locate every life the word of god will surely transform every life amen. and no life will be the same in jesus name welcome on board god bless you Amen, amen. And don't forget that we are on two platforms, as you can see on the screen right now. We are on Facebook. That's our Facebook page, as you can see on the screen. If you're watching us by our Facebook, share on your Facebook page, share on your timeline, and share with you the groups you belong to, and God will bless you. Also, share on WhatsApp, on Instagram, and on Messenger, and that will work with wonders and miracles in your life. And also, if you're watching us by our YouTube, please invite your subscribers and those who are subscribed to us all watch together and God will bless, increase and prosper. Get ready for a turnaround in your lives and destinies in the name of Jesus. Amen. This is the hour that the Lord has made. Who we'll rejoice and be glad in it. God bless you. Thank you for joining this podcast. And if you're not done it, please hashtag IBS, hashtag IBS. That's interactive Bible study. And make sure you get your Bibles ready, get your writing pads ready, get your pens ready, get your device ready, and get your questions ready. Go work his wonders and miracles, even in every life and destiny, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you. We bless you. Hallelujah. We give all the praise, the glory, the honor. <coughs> Marvelous King, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are the great God. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the first, the last. There's none like unto you. There's none besides. There's none we can compare unto you. Great and mighty Hallelujah. King, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank you. We bless you. Worship you. Praise you. Honor you. Adore you. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Every sin, Lord, forgive the name of Jesus. Amen. Cleanse us with your blood. Amen. Make us whole, pure, and sanctified. Amen. Holy Ghost, we invite you into our midst. Amen. Your word says, where to? Or three, I got together in your name. There you will be in their midst. Come down into a midst and have your way. Amen. Approve yourself like never before in the name of Jesus. You come against the works of the enemy in the air, in the sky, in the moon, inside of the water. We bind them. Every work of the enemy that wants to eat up the word of God from our hearts. Every work of enemy, every work of, work of the enemy that wants to cause destruction or mighty father or, or thoughts wandering around. Mighty father, we come against those powers. We bind them. We to in the name of Jesus. Amen. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Of Jesus. Our hearts, our thinking process, our minds, we cover with the blood of Jesus. Lord we declare and declare that Lord your word will touch us like never before Amen. and there will be a great transformation. Amen. Thank you Lord we bless you. Thank you. We give Jesus. all the praise. Hallelujah. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us yeah. go before Jehovah God and begin to exalt the name yes. of the Lord. The psalmist says I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Let's begin to thank him in Jesus name. Father in the name of Jesus mighty God eternal God we thank you. We worship you. We adore you tonight. You are the Lord Beside you, there is no other God. You are the Alpha, you are the Omega, you are the beginning, you are the end. Man, the poor, the day, the love, the day, the love, the day. We worship you, we adore you, we honor you, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Psalm 150 verse 6 is let everything that hath breath yes. bless the name, name of, of the Lord. Lord. Let's tell God, Lord, I'm grateful among the living. I am mm. among the living. Let's yes. begin to thank him tonight. Father, Father we God, thank you. Father, we, 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 we thank you. We thank you. We are among the living. Father, we worship you. We adore you. Thank you, Lord. 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 Amen. Psalm 107 verse 20 says, He sent forth his word mm. and he left Damn, them and yes. delivered them from all their destruction. Oh, yes. Say, Lord, because tonight I'm thanking you, you send your word to me. 
You will heal me. Mm. You will deliver me from every form of destruction. Yes. Let's begin to thank him Father, tonight. Thank you. Mighty God, eternal God, my Lord, as on Taraba, we worship you, we adore you, we honor you, oh God. He sent for your, you sent for your word. We send your word to us tonight. We give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor for deliverance, for healing, oh God. Man, Talarabosha, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The word of God declares. Romans 10, 17, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of yes. God. Lord, I thank you, oh God, because my faith will be increased tonight yes, as Lord. I hear your word. Let's begin to thank him. Mighty God, God, eternal God, Holy One of Israel. We thank you, oh God. You will increase our faith tonight. We worship you. We adore you. Our coming tonight, it will not be in vain. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let's go before God and say, Lord, uh, Lord, all my sins forgive me. The Bible says in First John 1, uh, if we confess our sins, it's faithful mm. and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Lord, cleanse me tonight. Let's yes. begin to pray. Mighty God, it's not your word. If I regard God, iniquity in me, the Lord will not hear me. I want to be heard. We want to be heard. Oh God, every sin, every transgression, every iniquity, let the blood of just begin to cleanse us tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's say, God, Lord, you are the God of mercy. The Bible says, I will have mercy on whom you have mercy on. Mm. Compassion on whom I have compassion on. Lord, have mercy and compassion on me tonight. Let's begin to pray. Mighty God, eternal God, holy one of Israel, we pray tonight. You have mercy and compassion on over and on, on every one of us tonight. Our coming will not be in vain in the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Psalm 62 verse 11 says, once as he spoken twice about Adam, all power belongs to God. We will tell God, Lord, let your power Power. Let your anointing locate me right now. Let's begin to pray. Mighty God, eternal God, Holy One of Israel, and tell Rabagaria, ask for your power, for your anointing, Holy Spirit of the Living God. Here in Amoshada, the Word of God declares, We are two or three programs together in His name. We will be in their midst. We want to have an encounter with you. We want to see you tonight. Let us see you, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Let's tell God tonight, oh God. Have your way in her midst, oh God. Do that which man cannot, but you alone can do. The Word of God declares, with God, nothing shall be impossible. Yes. We'll come before you, oh God, agreeing with your word. Do that which man cannot do, but you alone can do. Let's begin to cry out to God. Mighty God, eternal God, you are the Almighty, you are the great God. Man, Talarabagadia, do that which man cannot do, but you alone can do. In our lives, oh God, take the glory, take the honor, take the adoration. Do your work in our lives, oh God, in the name of the Lord. Malabrosata. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Let us go down every stronghold, every power of darkness. The Bible says in 1 John 3 8, for this purpose the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Let's tell God every work of darkness, every work of evil against tonight's meeting. We scatter, we nullify. Let's begin to pray. Man, the God, eternal God, we come before you tonight. Every plan of darkness, every work of evil against our lives tonight, today we destroy, we nullify. In the name of Jesus. We find every coffin in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Oh, We pray the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. And I will thank you one more time. Be glorified, O oh God. Spirit of the giving God. Spirit of the living God, have your way. Do the unusual. Yes, Lord. Do the miraculous. Yes, Lord. We play the blood of Jesus. Jesus. We come against every territorial spirit. Yes, Lord. Every contrary spirit. Yes, Lord. Every power of darkness. Yes, Lord. We find we cast the blood of it. Yes, Have your way, O oh God. Yes, Lord. Jesus, my name, we pray. Amen. 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 Once again, you're welcome. To interview Bible study, we to show ourselves a fruit of God. We thank God for His goodness and mercy. Thank God that you are able to join with us tonight. We know that God works wonders and miracles. Make sure you have your Bibles ready with you and have your questions also ready. This is packaged, well packed. We have Bible study, we have prayer time, we have prophecy time, we have prayer time, we have question time, we have digging dig time, we have reading the Bible time. It's all um, 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 it's all packaged in one. And if you have your family with you, just within this few hours, you're going to do Bible study. Cast it on your team so they can all watch it. But he still have your device on you that can make a comment and God will bless you. Let's come together. Let's study together. Let's share. Let's call our friends from far and near. And God will come to work his wonders and miracles, even in every life and destiny. And the name of God shall be glorified in our lives. And so once again, Amen. you are welcome to Interactive Bible. So if you're not hashtag, please. Hashtag either on or YouTube or Facebook. Hashtag it I B S. And you'll be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Right now we're going to go into praise and worship. 
Rabbi Oscar, we believe in us, we believe in us in praise and worship. Let's join them, and God will surely bless every one of us as we praise and bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Rabbi Oscar, over to you. Happy Sunday, everybody. We're just going to rejoice together this morning and just celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Wherever you're watching us from, just rise up on your feet and join us right now. Hallelujah. Hey. What are you turning to wine? You open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. None like you. Into the darkness you shine. Out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you, none like you. What a what a determined to one. You hope open the eyes of the blind. Hey, there's no, no one, one like you. No one, none like you. Into the darkness, into the darkness to shine. Out of the ashes. We rise, there's no one like you, no one, none like you. Our God is greater, our God is greater, our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power, our God. Our God, our God is greater, our God is greater. Our God is stronger, Lord, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power, our God. Our God, our God is greater, our God is greater, our God is stronger, Lord, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power, our God. Our God. If our God is for us, then who can never stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? And if our God is for us, then who can never stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand And if our God is for us, then who can never stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand And if our God is for us, then who can never stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand Stronger, Lord, you are higher than any other. I got a zeal, awesome in power. I got, I got, I got is greater. I got is greater. I got is stronger. Lord, you are higher than any other. I got a zeal, awesome in power. I got.
worship yes. Jehovah God has begun to exalt his worship name. Jehovah. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be adored. He's the King of glory. He's the great I am. Let's thank him. The psalm says I will bless, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Let's bless his holy name tonight. Mighty God, eternal God, we thank you, Lord. Manta Kora, the day of Rosha, that in you we live, in you we move, in you we have our being, in you we are complete, we are your offspring. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Let us tell the Lord as we examine your words tonight, Lord, speak to our hearts, O God. Mm. Let us have an encounter with the word of the living God tonight. Let's begin Let to pray. pray. Mighty God, turn God, God, we want to see you lift your die in our eyes tonight, O God. We want to have an encounter with you. We don't want to come in vain. Spirit of a living God, have your way now. Miss, let us see you tonight. Makalika, Ruta, Yaka, Yalana, Kato, Brete, Seek your word into our hearts, O God. And the other bush, in Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Amen. Let's tell God the power in the world locate us <coughs> like the power in the world locate us tonight. Let's begin to pray. Mighty God, eternal God, the power in the world locate every one of us tonight. We want to see you tonight. Oh God, the power that is in the word of the living God. Lord, your word is power. Let the power in the world locate every life tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Amen. The word of God says, send forth his word and heal the Lord. Yes, Lord. Send forth your word and heal the Lord. Send forth your Word and heal us and deliver us. Let's begin to pray, Lord. Lord, 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 Lord let's support the word tonight. Heal us and deliver us. Heal 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 us. In Jesus' name we pray. Send forth your word, Lord, and release us from every stronghold of the enemy. Let's begin to pray in Father, send forth your word and release us from every stronghold of the enemy. Release, 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 in Jesus' name. Then we pray. Amen. The word of God in John 17, 17 says that the word of God is true and the word of God sanctifies. We tell God, Lord, let the truth in the word locate me tonight. Let's begin to pray. Mary, let the truth in your word locate me tonight. Locate us tonight. The truth of the word of God will be to every life tonight. In the name of the Lord, man, the Lord of God, 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 Lord, let your word sanctify me tonight. I want to be sanctified, oh God, so that I can live a righteous life, I can live a life of purity. Let your word sanctify. Let's begin to pray. Mighty God, eternal God, Holy One of Israel. Let your word sanctify us tonight, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Lord, the word I will hear tonight, let that word of God change my life for a miracle. It's Send forth his word. Send your word and let your word change me tonight. Let's begin to pray. Mighty God, eternal God, as we hear your word, let your word change our lives. Oh God, transform our lives. Let there be a transformation tonight through the word of the living God. Man, Holy God, search us with your word, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We pray again. And the word of God says that the word of God is sharper than any two edged sword. That Lord, any power that's standing against us, cut them in two by fire and destroy us. Begin to pray. Ah, the Bible declares no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Every weapon of the enemy will never prosper tonight. Every obstacle, every hindrance to the word of God tonight will destroy in Jesus' name. Amen. Whatever I want to stand against us through your word tonight, I want to block your word, manifest, consume them by your fire. Once you are consuming fire, begin to consume them by fire. Father, in the name of Jesus, you are the consuming 
praying for her. As we hear your word, oh God, anything that wants to stand in the way of our miracle tonight, may come on by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes. Or put whatever the plan of the enemies, let it be prepared by fire to your beginning to fire. Father, we pray to every plantation of the enemy in every life, in our lives, oh God, they are put there by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The word of God declares in John 8, it says, You will know the truth, and the truth will set you yes. free. Father, the truth in the word, let that truth be revealed unto us, and let us be free tonight. Let's begin to pray. Mighty God, eternal God, set us free, oh God, to the truth that is in the word of the living God. Let there be total freedom tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us say, God, Lord, the truth that is in your word, oh God, let that truth, oh God, release me from every captivity. We will know the truth, and the truth will set us free. What truth of the word of God set me free tonight? Let's begin to pray. Mary God, eternal God, as your word in John 8 36, I'll take us oh God, set us free, oh God, and take from every bond, from every yoke, by the truth that will reveal unto us tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The word of God declares Osea 4 6. People are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Lord, I don't want to be destroyed. Reveal your word to me, oh God. Let me receive the power of the word, the knowledge of the word of God. I receive tonight. Let's begin to pray. Mighty God, eternal God. The knowledge of the word of God will receive tonight, oh God. We don't want to be living in ignorance. Holy Ghost. Reveal yourself to us, oh God. Father, we give you the praise. Jesus. Mighty name, we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you because we are fine. We have prayed your word, my Father. Let your word become reality in our lives. In Jesus' name, let your word work wonders in our lives. Let it release us, my Father. Let us have breakthrough your word. Let us have that great release through your word. Let us have that transmission through your word. Let us have increase the next level in your word. The blessings in your word received by fire. Amen. The transformational power in your word. Let it descend upon and transform our lives. Let your name be glorified. Amen. Let us receive fire and power. Amen. Let your name be glorified. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. We are going to the war study. Go with us. Amen. Open our understanding. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Once again, you are welcome to Interactive Bible Hallelujah. Study. Where we try to show ourselves a of God. You don't want to be asking by divine appointment. If, if you're not hashtag, hashtag it. Hashtag IBS and God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, God will begin to work his wonders and miracles. We're about to go into the summary of what you have been doing. And as we're going to summary, if you have any questions, you can post in your questions on Facebook or YouTube. Maybe we are we're reading the word of God. You came on a chapter of us. You want more understanding in it. Or maybe you are... You are um, you are, you are talking to some friends or you saw something on social media or radio or TV, you can post it and God will begin to work with wonders and make in your lives and God will bless you. So post in your Amen. questions and read in summary and God will honor you and bless you mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We are reading from Galatians chapter 6 from verses 1 to 8. Galatians 6 <coughs> from verses 1 to 8. Please get your Bibles while we all read together and God will surely bless every one of us even like never before in jesus name galatians 6 verses 1 to 8 and it's e e v s it's um brothers if anyone is caught in any transgression you who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness keep watch on yourself lest <coughs> you to be Tempted. For if anyone thinks he's something when he's nothing, he deceives himself. Verse 3 for if. For if anyone thinks he's. Uh, verse 4. Verse 2. Bear one another's body and so fulfill the law of Christ. Verse 3. If anyone thinks he's something when he's nothing, <coughs> he deceives himself. But let each one of us test his own. Let each one test his own work. And then his reason to boast will be in himself alone and not in his neighbor. Verse 5, for each will have to bear his own load. Let the one who is taught the word share all good things with the one who teaches. 
Verse 7, do not be deceived, God is not mocked. For whatever man sows, that will you also reap. It for the one who sows to his own flesh, will from the flesh reap corruption. But the one who sows to the Spirit, will from the Spirit reap eternal life. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. We've been teaching this for almost a year now. Do you know it's almost a year? April last year. Mm-hmm. But that's the word of God. We thought maybe we'd just do it by the end of the year or so, but now we are still on it for almost a year. Thank God. That's the word of God. Mm-hmm. Can you believe almost a year? We're just checking the record and it's almost a year. Mm-hmm. So we thank God. We bless God for His goodness. Yes, 10th of April 2023. We started this one and we are almost there. But thank God for His goodness and mercy. And we're going to work is one that I made. So, if you have any questions, you can begin to post as we do the summary. We want to do the summary of what we've been talking about from 1 to 8. I know that the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. We'll be talking about bear one another's <coughs> burden. Yes, sir. So. And that's Galatians 6 from verses 1 to 8. It says, Brothers, if anyone is caught in any transgression, if anyone is caught in any transgression, you who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness. Keep watch on yourself. Lest you to be tempted. In other words, we are to be our brother's keeper. Now can we be our brother's yes. keeper? We see our brothers going on the wrong track. We can try and help that brother back on track. But while we are doing that, we must be very careful so that we too will not find the same temptation. Mm. So that we will not have the telephone pull um, telephone pole in our eyes. And then we are telling somebody, look, you have to speak in your eye. No. If we are going to correct someone, that means somebody who is going to correct the other person must be more spiritual, must not be must be in the, must not be in the same error. That's why the Bible says we have to be careful so that we too we are not tempted the same way. And then verse two talks about bear one another's bodies and so fulfill the love of Christ. That is that is the love of Christ. Mm. If you say you want to fulfill the love of Christ, then you should be your <coughs> you should be your brother's keeper. And your brother's keeper, the Lord will be happy to with it. That's why God asked um, Cain. Where is your brother? And King was saying, Am I, do you, did you make my brother's keeper? Yes, God has made us our brother's keeper. When you become born again and you're a Christian, you should look out for your brother mm. and make sure your brother is happy. And anything in your power, try to help your brother. When I say brother, I mean brother or sister, so that they can be happy and be relaxed in the Lord. Lord, will give us that grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Then verse 3 says, For if anyone think it's something when it's nothing, he deceives himself. The Bible is saying that we must not be too... We must, that is, we must not be proud. Mm. We must be meek. We must be humble. The mm. Bible says God looks at the proud from afar. Even God himself detests the proud, detests proud people. So the Bible says that we must not be deceiving ourselves. Because if somebody thinks it's something, that person is deceiving himself. Mm. That is, those ones, they'll be living in denial. They are not facing the truth. Mm. That's why we need to be very careful so that we don't have... Any form of arrogancy in us, and God will help every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Verse 4 says, But let each one test his own work, and then his reason <clears throat> to boast will be in himself alone and not in his neighbor. Which means mm. that you test your own work, try your work, so that you will not be able, you will not compare yourself to your neighbor. You know that you compare yourself to the word of God. What does the word of God say about what you are doing? Now, if the word of God aligns with what you are doing, or you have aligned yourself with what you are doing, because many times nowadays people align themselves with others. Mm. The Bible does not say we should do that. You need to scrutinize and align yourself with the word of God. Yeah. And then when you are right in the word of God, you are right in the eyes of the Lord. If you say you are right, compared comparing yourself to your neighbor, before the eyes mm. of God, you may not be right. And that's the error that people are making. You, we are not supposed to compare ourselves to anybody. But align our actions, our thoughts, yes. our deeds with the word of God. That God will give us that grace in the name of Jesus. Amen. Verse 6 says, let the one, five. sorry, verse 5 says, For each will have to bear his own load. Yes, so. The Bible is saying, even though the Bible says, Bear one another's burdens. The same Bible says bear, that everyone will have to bear his own load. In other mm-hmm. words, we will be a product of our choices yes. in life. That's why we say as long as, the, as long as there is seed time, as long as the earth remains, there will be seed time and harvest time. Mm-hmm. Genesis 8.22. So that means everybody is sowing a seed, mm-hmm. like we said, whether good or bad seed. And we see... It will be a product of the seed we are sowing. Somebody is sowing a bad seed, they will have bad harvest. They will not sow bad seed. Yeah. If somebody is sowing good seed, they will have good harvest. That's why the Bible says, for which, for each, we have to bear his own load. Lord. That's why we need to be very careful. 
the choices we are making in mm. life. It's so easy to make choices, yes, but the result of our choices mm. can be very expensive if anybody's making wrong choices. That's why, beloved, you must make sure we're not <coughs> making wrong choices mm. in life. Yes, so that good harvest can come our way, and God will help us in Jesus' name. And then verse 6 says, Let the one who is taught the word share all good things with the one who teaches. That is, you support your pastors, you pay for them, you, you meet their material needs, you wish them best, good. You know what? Take care of, in, 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 take of your pastors. Whatever God has given to you, make sure you share with your pastors. You share good things and you know you'll be blessed. Bible says that when you do this, praises go up to God and God will look down and bless you. If one blesses from God, make sure you take care of those who are, who are they all say, those who, who, who preach the word, they are worthy of double honor. And God will bless us all in the name of Jesus. And then verse 7 says, Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever one sows, mm. that will he also reap. Mm. The Bible is saying that <clears throat> God cannot be mocked. Yes, sir. So we must not deceive ourselves. Mm. Those people will just say anything. They will just run their mouth carelessly. Mm. Let anybody say anything. That does not change God. Yes. He's the Almighty. He's the King of Glory. He's the Great I Am. He's the Holy One of Israel. I mean, I just add this. That's why we have to be very careful about all these bloggers that will open their mouth and be abusing servant of God carelessly. We must not be a part of it. Don't mm. even like it. Don't even make a comment. If it's possible, delete them from your page. Because what is the point? Somebody will just stand all day abusing all the fathers of the faith and ask these people, what have you achieved? They've not really achieved anything. All the achievement is on Facebook. May God help somebody in Jesus' name. So that's why the Bible says that God cannot be mocked. So we must. nobody should deceive him himself. God cannot be mocked. And it says... Whatever one sows, that is what it will reap. We have to be very careful. That's why even in, even in this area of making comments, it's not everything you see on Facebook you have to like or dislike. And it's not everything you have to, you know, make a comment. There are some things that it's not even, it's not even our business at all. May God help us. Because you see, whatever we sow, that's what we will reap. Somebody who is out there destroying others one day, one day. When they will be, it's in the Bible, when they will be quiet, it, it will be their turn to be destroyed. Because they have been sowing bad seed. May we not sow bad seed. May we only sow good seed. That's why we have to be very careful when it comes to all these social media and the rest of them. Be very careful what you are pressing. Even some people, before even they read, they are pressing like. You don't even know whether somebody is saying something that is very bad and you are liking. We have to be very careful. We must sow good seed so that good harvest will locate every one of us in Jesus' name. And when Pastor was away, we dealt with... Um, for the one who sows to his flesh will from the flesh reap corruption, but the one who sows to the spirit will from the spirit reap eternal life. The Bible is saying that, like we have established, everybody is sowing the seed, whether a good one or a bad one. We have to be very careful what we are sowing. Whenever we sow to flesh, we reap corruption. And then along the line, we said, how can we avoid sowing to our flesh? We said, by the things we do. Actually, what we do with it, I mean, whether we are sowing to the spirit or to the flesh. And we said, if we don't want to, if, let me go to the notes now. He said, whatever, yes, we said, um, when people, he says, whatever you feed grows. That is, whatever we are feeding. If you are feeding our flesh, the flesh will grow. If you feed our spirit man, the spirit man will grow. And we said, how do we feed your spirit man? We said, the scripture will reach. Christian books, we pray and fast, we mix with this, we, we mix with spiritual people, we attend church, we hate sin, and we actually say we actually we flee from the appearance of evil. And may God help us. And in case anybody is still on, you are still not going to church because COVID came. COVID is over now. Some people are still doing online church, they are not going to church. Go to church. One day, one day, you need a physical pastor. Pastor that is on ground, not mm. online. You see, there can be many pastors online, but when the day of trouble will come and somebody will need a pastor, those online pastors, they, because they don't even know you, they are just following them. Thank God for people that are following others. But when real problem will come, you don't look, you don't even have access to these people. Mm. Have a local church. And God, because by that, if you have a local church, then you can grow more spiritually. And God will help us in Jesus' name. And then we ask the question. Um, what do you do not to be stagnant? Because if we are growing, 
That means we will not be stagnant spiritually. What do you do not to be stagnant? It says never have arrival mentality. Never be satisfied with your level. Never, and we said, be willing to learn. Then we said we should be we should continue mm. to be faithful to God. And that brought us to First Corinthians 15, 58, that says, Be steadfast, be immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. And we look at the word faithful as children of God. We need to be faithful to God even in everything we do. You know, some people they are able, but they are not faithful. If somebody has ability and they are not faithful, their ability is as is as good as nothing. Whereas somebody can be faithful and they might not have ability, they might not be able, but because they are faithful as they are coming, God will begin to endow them with the ability to do what God wants them to do for him. The grace to be faithful to God. May God give it to us in Jesus' name. And then we said that we must be unimmovable. And we must be immovable. That is, nothing should move us. And we look at what can actually move people when they go to church. Some people, it is offense. Some people, just little, little flimsy excuses. That's why you see people, they end up in their sitting room. That will not be a portion in Jesus' name. And then... <clears throat> we, uh, we we said, you know, um, that first question 1558 says, um, be steadfast, be immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. And then we asked the question, what is the work of the Lord? We said, work of the Lord is what we do for God. And it's the way, and we said one of them is the way we serve our God, we surrender ourselves. So we now ask the question, that was where we started last week. We, and we actually went into what is serving God and what is worship. That yes, everybody can come in to serve God, but not everybody is serving, but not everybody is worshiping the Lord. Because John 4 23 says, Those who worship God must worship God in spirit and in truth. And that's where we stopped. Amen. Amen. So today we continue. Before we go on, if you have any question, it's question time. And I believe the Lord will bless us in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. You've been reading your Bible, or you saw something on social media, or TV, or radio. We're talking to some of your friends, and you know, sometimes we talk to our friends and we don't understand, we don't know once more. You can put in your questions, and God will bless us all in just. I think we have a question here first. I think um, it was a comment. There's a question, okay? Yeah, these days, people explain and justify their actions uh, with the Bible. So, it's a question, and sorry, it's a, I think it's a question, and okay, it's a question, and I believe it's a question. These days, because truly, truly. These days, people will try to justify their So we can say, why do people these days, uh, why do people these days explain and justify their actions or error with the Bible? Let me put it on so that people on YouTube can see it and they will know yeah. what we are talking about. That is, these days, people uh, explain and justify their actions or error with the Bible. Now, if somebody justifies their error to the Bible, is they not they are not they don't see it as an error. Yeah, they are justifying their action. Mm -hmm. Say it's in the Bible, mm -hmm. so what I'm doing is right. Mm -hmm. So and sometimes it's in the Bible, but you see the way you interpret the Bible matter because every action we take in this world, you can find the Bible passage to back it up. Yes, every action we take in this world, either good or bad, you may find a Bible verse that you think supports what mm -hmm. you are doing but you need to know the story behind that bible verse what it says before and what it says mm -hmm. after and who is referring and to it's not out of context out of context who it is referring to you cannot say that because abraham we father of faith uh, married uh, Sarah and married somebody else or somebody else gave back to to issue maybe through him, then I am free to do that. You cannot use that as an example. You understand? That is a wrong example. So because people take the Bible out of context and they try to 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 justify what they are doing through the word of God. And the word of God does not support any but because our God is not a God of confusion. Mm -hmm. So God does not support confusion. Now the question is that you want to say something before I say Brian, yes. yes. Um Osea 4.6 Osea yes. 4.6 says, 
my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Yes. Even in law, ignorance is no defense. Yes. You know, people can be so defensive of their actions mm. when they are act when we are I mean when they are sincerely wrong. Yes. yes sir. When people are sincerely wrong. Mm. If somebody is wrong, it's wrong. Whether they are sincerely wrong or 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 or, 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 or we fully wrong, mm. being wrong is still wrong. But yes. unfortunately, OCR 4 6. Well, not unfortunately, it's not unfortunately on the past of the Bible. Unfortunately, people because they lack knowledge, they will think, well, anything I'm doing, I can, it's like somebody, yes, anything I'm doing, I can justify it. It's that like somebody saying, well, even a prophet married a prostitute, mm. Osia, that married um, Goma. Goma. Forgetting that God was trying to make an analogy of the story of the, of the action of the children of Israel. That's why um, prophet, is it Jeremiah or prophet Jeremiah? No, no, sorry. Osia, Osia married. Osia. Goma, the Lord. That will tell you at least uh, in the Bible. Uh, even so, even people will use all sorts of examples. Like Bible said, you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. I will know the truth. The truth will set me free. Those who don't know the truth, I'm telling you, they will just for everything. Even those who are drinking, why are you drinking? They will tell you. Mm. Apostle Paul told Timothy, mm. for your ailments. Drink a little bit of wine. Dear, drink a little bit of wine. Are you Timothy? Are you sick? And the one that we're talking about is wine that has not been fermented. Just as the wine that Jesus, what mm. that just turned to wine. So, that wine came instantly and it was not fermented. So it wasn't intoxicated. That's the difference. Mm. So may we know the truth. Amen. That's why the Bible says the people of Beria, they are more noble than the people of Thessalonica. If they hear anything, they will go back to the scriptures and check if those things are the truth. But in the world of today, many people, some people can be so lazy, they just want to just choose. And you see, people want to choose what and uh, what, what suits them. Thank you. What suits them. But God will not, because of anybody, change his word. Bible is Bible from generation to generation. They will say, ah, that one is old, 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 old say there's only one Bible. For yesterday's generation, today's generation, tomorrow's generation, until Jesus will come. Yes, sir. Only one Bible. And God will, be, God, will, and God will not, because of one generation, change his word. His words are yea and amen. His words are true. May we know the truth in Jesus' name. Like an error I see people doing, and these are moms, men and women of God, is that, and it's not in the Bible. It is we human beings that demarcated it. Mm. The time that says major prophets and minor prophets. <laughs> Even though, truly, truly, when they were dividing the Bible, the Bible is, we, we human beings, not the Bible. The Bible doesn't say anybody is major We divided some people into major prophets and minor prophets. We say Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, and Daniel are major prophets. Mm. And then the rest are minor prophets. The Bible will not say so. It is we ourselves that the market did it now some people are running with it and some people say they are major prophets hmm. and they say some other people are minor prophets they're trying to demarcate now this is not in the bible and people are trying to use the bible as an example because when Isaiah wrote his book Jeremiah wrote his book Ezekiel wrote the hmm. book and then they did not write major prophets. The major prophets and when Osea wrote the book and Micah wrote the book hmm. they did not say minor prophet it is we human beings that have termed this as people are running with it. So, and they are trying to prove that it's in the Bible. There's no major prophet in the Bible. There's no minor prophet in the Bible. There's no where. Even Elisha was not called a major or minor prophet. Elijah of all. Even Moses. Nobody called anybody a major or minor prophet. Mm. It is just human understanding. Because we human beings, we like to demarcate. Mm. That is, we are higher. You know, human beings like the, being higher. Demarcate that they are higher than somebody else and they are the best than somebody else. Mm. No, nobody is the best. It's all by His grace. Oh, Whatever man. gifting you have, it is by the grace of of God. It's not by your doing, but it's by His grace. So nobody can say, I'm a major one or a minor one. We are all, if I call in the office of a prophet, we are all prophets in the sight of God. And God will not call some, I have some people saying that, God wanted to call them. And God, Prophet Jeremiah, Prophet lie. Jeremiah, that's where a, are you? I want to send you a message. Exaggeration. God will never call you <laughs> by a title. God will call you by your name. Dr. Funke! 
<laughs> Even Jesus, he just he called, called Jesus by his name. He didn't call son Jesus. No, 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 no. He called Jesus by his name. So God will not go. Moses, Moses, you read your Bible very well. The Lord will never call anybody by title. He will call you by your mm-hmm. name. So if anybody comes to you and says that, ah, God said, eh, Prophet this, where are you? Pastor this is a lie. God will not call you by title. It is just human reasoning and human thinking. And that's why you see. The Bible should be our business. Don't let anyone deceive you out there. Because mm. there are many deceits that have gone out there. And many deceivers are out there. They are deceiving people. And the Bible says that even if the, if, if the elect are not careful, the elect will be deceived. Mm. May we not be deceived in the name of Jesus. And may God help us in just And God uphold us in Jesus. For example, so people will say, and I tell the Bible, who found this? They say, I said this in the Bible, heaven helps those who help themselves. There's nowhere in the Bible that you have that quotation. But people will quote it as if it's in the Bible. Heaven helps those who help themselves. There's nowhere that that's it. So we need to know all what is written in the Bible and follow the Bible in total. We should not think and demarcate and think we are different or separate or above any other person. We are all equal before the sight of God. And may God uphold us and guide us and keep us in the name of Jesus. So may God help us in Jesus' name. So don't allow anybody to cajole you, to deceive you using the word of God. The word of God is yea and amen. And you see, those people are not the first to twist the word of God. Many people have been twisting the word of God. And you know, and they will still keep on twisting the word of God. No one can stop that. You cannot pray that because Jesus has said it. It will happen. Deceivers will come and they will deceive people through the word of God, saying, I am Christ, I am Jesus, Jesus is here, he appeared here or there. And that is not so. As lightning will shine. And be not to the east, south to the west. So will the coming of the Son of Man be that all I will see him. The Revelation one is all I will see him, and they will wait on account of him, those who have pierced him, and then the Lord will appear, and then everyone will see him. So don't be deceived mm. by the word. As you were talking, I just asked Uncle Google now mm. that verse for who help those who help themselves. So there's no verse. Of course it. now. And of God, quotes. God, of course, God helps people, mm-hmm. but there's no way it Quotation says, in the Bible. There's no way it says heaven will help those who have you see it's, say it all. actually it's uh it is it is it is man saying mm. it does not mean it is right. And it's a saying I just remember I thought I said it's saying when we are young that people have been saying that they've been saying and been saying and been saying and I translate it in English that this ant you cannot you cannot create it. Move your leg and don't step on it and don't kill it. They usually say it in the saying. No, maybe that's among among Afro Nigerian people. Yeah, they say it as if it's in the among, Bible. Among Nigerian yes. people. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying now. When Nigerian people, I'm just saying that people say it generally, that they say it as if it's in the word of God. That's why you see whatever saying you hear, check it out in the word of God. If it's not in the word, chuck it out. If it's in the word, then ponder over it and know it. As as Pastor said, the people of Berea, they were more noble because when they hear the word, they go home and check it. The problem with Christians of nowadays is that nobody has the time to go and check the word of God. Many, and that is why many, many are it, deceived. It's not that nobody. People, okay. Some people have... <laughs> <coughs> so people have time to check, but mm. some people don't have. <laughs> so, people, uh, so people have time to check, but many people are not checking. Many people are taking the word for it. Even the words we are saying on this platform, this program, go and check it out in the word of God. And make sure you are hearing the right thing. So that you will not be, because the deceivers are out there. Whatever program you are hearing on any platform, whether on any social media, CV. check it out. CV, check it out in the Bible to make sure it goes and tallies with the word of God. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm. Yes. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Your sense of, he loves, okay. God doesn't l- like lazy people. He loves praying, action people. God helps those who make a move. Yes, yes. God, when he wants to make a move, God will help you. Amen. God will be ready to help you and uphold you and guide you. So Amen. may God help you. So don't, don't, don't let anyone deceive you through the word of God that they have adulterated and twisted to their own mm. to, twisted to their own good or to their own use. So may God help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. So since we don't have any questions, we go on to what we have today. Yes. And God will help us. Nobody's putting any questions. So we believe that everybody's happy with what they know. And God will uphold us and help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We amen. stopped by 
the issue of worship and service. Mm -hmm. And during the week, I was actually pondering about that matter. And a question actually popped into my head as I was coming on. Why is it that people are willing to serve God? They are they're willing to come to church, blah, 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 maybe work or don't work, but they are not willing. Why are some people not willing to worship the Lord? Because that John 4, 23 it says, those who worship God must worship God in spirit and in truth. So why is it difficult for people not to worship God in spirit and in truth? Yes. I believe number one. On so I hope, the, I hope you got the question. Yes, I believe so. Why is it not? Is, why is it that not every Christian worships God in spirit, spirit and, in and truth? In truth? I believe. I believe that um, it's knowledge. People need to know, and that's the work of the church. That the church needs to tell people and train people. You cannot just know by knowing, except the Holy Ghost reveals it to you. So I believe that the church is in a place to let people know that. Is, is is important to worship God, number one. It's important to have time to worship God. And then also, even in service, you have to create a time where people can worship God. You don't just rush the service because you want to have 10 services on a Sunday. So you rush every service and you rush and you don't have time to worship. So you need to have time to worship God and train your members and tell them the importance of worshiping God. I think it starts from there. I guess my pastor will be laughing now. But Pastor Chris, are we going to force people? No, you tra <laughs> train them, you give them time. No, you train them. No, you train I them. agree. No, I agree with you, mm. Pastor. But I'm sure my pastor will be saying, ha, Pastor, we, we tell them, we train them. Okay, them. like, okay, for instance, if a service is going on, and let's say worship is going on, or maybe it's prayers, or word of God, because everything we are doing in a service is a mm. worship to God. And, and then as, as, all those, as all things are going on, somebody will choose to be on their phone or will choose to be just walking up and down or will choose to be chatting. Uh, especially when the ministry is really big. That's little the pastor can do. Pastor can only do overall. It's, it's, it's like yes, when... The pastor will play his part. Yes, it's like, it's like, like, it's like when the lecturer is lecturing. Especially in, if the class is really huge. If you like, if you like be making noise, be talking, he will just be teaching. Just be lecturing and then carry his bag at the end of the day. Go. If you like, get it. If you like, don't get it. It's your problem. Even mm. uh, Of course, in church, I'm not saying it should be like that. Mm. But at the end of the day, every individual must take responsibility. If truly you have given your life to Christ, you are born again. And the Bible says those who worship God must worship God in spirit and in truth. Everybody must make up his or her mind. Because at the end of the day, pastors are not here to be putting on pampas on people. No. Every individual must make up his or her mind. That, you know what? I want to worship God in spirit and in truth. And may I keep this story in for somebody out there? You know, if as a born again Christian, they say come to church. Pastor is doing everything. The church is doing everything for people to grow. Because in every church, if apostle Judas... Refuse to be well, re refuse, refuse to be holy. But uh, if at least he had the best teacher, the best mentor, the best prophet, the best everything, the best, I mean, the savior, even he had with the savior, yet Apostle Judas ended in hell. So that means even in churches, those who know here will know here. Just let those who have ears hear what the spirit is saying to the church. Maybe we don't know, you see. I will believe people just do what they like in church because they think, ah, oh, just come and go, it's okay. Somebody called me today. I was even afraid when the sister called me and said, Mommy, Mommy, Mommy. I said, Hey, what, what? He said, Hey, see you. See what I saw today. I went so I, I was coming back home. I was in my car. I saw one old woman pouring things on the floor. And the moment this woman will notice, in London, no. The moment this woman will see that somebody is coming, she will hide the thing and then she will stop. And then when nobody is walking again, she will pour something again and then she will be talking, talking, talking. And then when she will hear a sound, she will stop. And then she was thinking, eh? In London, when we say pray, when we say worship God, when we say put in your best, look, this world we are living in is a wicked world. And for everybody's formation, the devil does not care about everybody. And you see, if somebody will like, Thank you. Walk out your salvation with fear and trembling. If somebody will say, don't forget to put in the verses like we have discussed. 
So sister, I am a minister, Abigail, look for the scripture. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. We are in the Bible. Put it on, please. You see, if somebody would refuse to work out their salvation with fear and trembling, ah, Pastor can honestly, the Bible says, um, Jeremiah 3.15, I will give you pastors after my own heart that will feed you in knowledge and in truth. But you see, pastor cannot open somebody's brain. And then put what they need to do. Everybody must take responsibility. That's why it says, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. And may God help every one of us. Because you see, pastors can do so much. They can do so much. But the ones who will not hear, will not hear. Maybe one of those that we hear in Jesus' name. You see, that is just number one of what I am. I'm not saying the church is fully to be blamed. No, no, I'm no, no. I'm not saying you are blaming pastors, the church. We need to play our role. And then mm -hmm. number two, because I want to say something. Number two, church members may also need to know how to worship God. For example, something happened two Sundays ago when I was preaching. I had to use somebody's um, phone as an example. And as I was preaching, preaching, I was sweating. I was preaching with all my strength. And I took the person's phone. I saw that the person was on WhatsApp. I said, ah, how can I be on WhatsApp when I'm preaching like this? You know, so in the in the church. And you know, the church has taught people how to worship God, how to do that. That even if you are on your phone, don't go on WhatsApp, don't focus on what you are doing. Yeah. So, you see, even the church, when the church plays its role, it's also left to us individual mm -hmm. to play our own role and worship God the way we are supposed to worship God or focus. I've seen sometimes when something important is going on, and maybe I'm going to the toilet, I've seen some people, they will be on Facebook, some yes, people will, so will be on Messenger, some mm -hmm. people will be messaging, texting, and all that, while the service is going on. So, you see... You can, you can only do so much as a church mm -hmm. to let your members know. You can only do so much that you allow yeah. worship and praise to go on in the church. But it's left to individuals to be serious with God. To know how to worship God in spirit and in truth. Mm -hmm. I believe that once you enter the church, you need to be focused on the church. You can turn your phone off, turn your phone off, and focus. And when you focus on the Lord, you begin to work wonders and miracles, even in your lives and destinies in Jesus' name. Amen. Before I read the comment, I actually when we say worship God, it's not just in the church, oh. Because if God is not taking, somebody will only come on a Sunday, and we only worship on a Sunday. No. Every day, yes. our lives must worship the Lord. Yes, the way we do things, we must worship the Lord. Our, you see, that's why we're saying we must live a surrendered life. Mm -hmm. That's um, Romans 12, 1. That is, it's, 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 it's our reasonable service to God. We must, that is our life, our everything, the way we talk, the way we dress, the way we do everything must worship God, must glorify God. Even our dressing must glorify God. You know, some people, it's only when they are coming to church, they will dress well. When they are out there, they will dress anyhow. Beloved, everything pertaining to our lives must worship the Lord. Those who worship the Lord must worship, must worship the Lord in spirit and, and in truth. truth, through our words. Some people, if you sit there, and if we see them at their work of place, hey, say, it is as well and so, it is as well and so, God have mercy, language of the mouth. Some people, wherever they are, will determine how their behavior will be, what they will do, it shouldn't be. If any man be in Christ, 2 Corinthians 5, 17, 2 Corinthians 5, 17, if any man be in Christ, is a new creature. All things are passed away. All things are become new. Amen. I like what Sister Crystal wrote there. She says, so true, sir. We can't expect our pastors to feed us and swallow the food for us. I like that terminology. That's, that's a true. good idiom. Yes, yeah, so because you, that is true. So you have to chew the word and swallow it by yourself so that you can grow. And as you grow, the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. And then Brother Sin said, Worshipping God has been relegated to singing and dancing. Funny enough, it is more than just singing and dancing. I remember Baba that was a blessed memory. He said, some people, they will have danced, 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 danced. And, you know, during the singing dance, anyhow, anyhow, when it's time to now hear the word of God, they are tired, they are sleeping. Worshipping God is the moment we enter into the church. Apart from, okay, before we came, oh, our lives is already worshipping God. Even when we enter the church, it's not just when they are singing and dancing. That's why I'm still of the opinion that 
And when we say we are doing praise and worship, that's why it's called praise and worship. Everything is not just see, dance, 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 be all over the place. There should be a time where... Because what is worship when it comes to singing? Worship is when you now begin to see the... Re- when, you, when you understand the, the revelation of Jesus, and it, it is when you have the revelation of God, revelation of Jesus, of the Holy Ghost, and then that's why... I, to be honest, I love to dance, I love, you know, all those things, I love it, but there must be a time, after a while, you calm down, at least by, at least by the time you have sang, 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 dance, 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 there must be a time where you now calm down, you know, because what do we do? We are thanking God for what we can see, for everything he has done for us, you know, we are, you know, we are just praising, we are thanking God, but when it comes to worship, it's a time you are saying, Lord, I'm thanking you for who you are, that is, you begin to see, you begin to worship God, in the revelation as you begin to cut the revelation of who God is. And that's why the tears will be rolling down. You raise your hand. You close your eyes. You don't want anybody to disturb you. Because now, I think that I'm just giving it all to you. And may God help every one of us in Jesus' name. So, praise and worship is not just singing and dancing. It's beyond that. That is why you see, praise and worship. What Pastor said, praise and worship. It's not worship, praise and worship. Mm-hmm. Many of you are doing worship, praise and worship. Mm-hmm. You cannot... Come to the presence of God and worship God instantly. It's not possible. You first of all praise God, mm-hmm. and then when your body, your soul, your spirit is night together, you can now begin worship. But I've seen many instances whereby they want to worship God first mm-hmm. and then praise God mm-hmm. and then worship God again. It's like a sandwich. But I believe that when you check the Bible very, very well and you see how they do in the Bible, they first of all praise God and then worship God. And when they worship God, you know the presence of God comes down. And Pastor has made, how do you worship? You raise up your holy hands and surrender. You close your eyes. That you are not allowing anything to distract no you. No distraction. And you, when you close your eyes, you know you are now tuning to God. And the Holy Spirit in you makes you tune to God in the throne and you begin to see God the way He is. You begin to see mm. the awesomeness of God, the greatness of God. You begin to fathom the power and the grace of God. Mm. You begin to understand the knowledge of God the more because mm. you are, your eyes are closed to things of the world and you are focused on heaven and then you begin to raise up holy hands and you begin to feel the presence of God and you begin to feel that, oh Lord, I love you and you, you see God and when you begin to see God, you begin to see that tears begin to roll down your eyes Why? because you are feeling the awesomeness and presence of God. And you see, Problem. And that cannot happen when you praise God. It can only happen when you worship God. Because your body, your soul, your spirit is still. And when you worship God, you know, when you praise God, you are dancing, you are all over the place, you are opening your eyes, you can see who is dancing, who is not dancing. But when it comes to worship, your eyes are closed. That's why it's very important for your eyes to be closed in worship. Mm-hmm. You close your eyes, use up holy hands, as Paul says, and then you begin to worship God. And you know what? The presence of God will come down. Because the presence of God comes down, comes down, in worship because we are worshiping God and may God give us that grace in the name of Jesus to be able to worship Him. Amen. So we cannot replace praise and worship, we replace worship with praise. Worship has its own praise has its own place. Yeah. And worship too has its own place. You cannot mix both together. That's why you cannot begin to sing praises praise sort of praise and then go into worship and then praise again and go into worship and then praise again and go to worship. You need to know the songs and what are worship songs? Worship songs are songs that praise God. And praise God only. Worship Him. Praise worship. God and praise God only. Wor- worship song is not a song that we are praying. There's a song that people sing. I've seen in many churches that they'll be carrying cheer and be dancing around. I'm going to that just making self happy. You see, that is not worship song. That is, the soul. Course, you are singing and you are kicking, mm. you are jumping, you are raising up chair. There's a song that they sing that they're raising up chairs. I can't even and, remember. And they're raising up. I saw it about three or four churches when I went to. Ah, which one is this one? I raise up chairs. Thank God. If it's bench, are you going to raise up bench in your church? So, but. Let's leave that alone. So you cannot be going into praise and then go into worship and come back into praise and come back into worship. It doesn't want that to be. You do your praise and uh, for a time and then go into worship. So it will be praise galore and worship galore. And then you can worship and get into the presence of God. As um Psalm Psalm 1 verse 4 talks about getting into the presence of God. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You see, I just want to say something, but it's my opinion now. I love to go on online, like maybe YouTube, look at songs. I realize that those who are really worshippers, that is, of course, they can sing some praise here and there, but they really do more worship. They train better than those who are just making 
I'm, I'm sorry to use making noise, though. I don't mean making noise in that sense. I mean, all they do is just song, 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 and then, I mean, um, press, 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 press. You know what I've noticed? Those ones who do press, press, but only press, 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 all over the place. I'm sorry, they tend to fade out. They fade out. But the ones who do worship, till tomorrow they are still on. And they have more. I've noticed this today, this morning, I was just going through my, after I'm doing some prayer, and then I was going through YouTube for some songs. I saw one person, a song, the eat was 200 and something million. 200 and something million. I said, wow, but check it out. Pure worship. I realized that those who worship, eh, they have the fade out too. But they want eh, all over the place. In no time, they fade out. Because after a while, you when somebody is born again, you now get to the understanding that you one will not get to the understanding that it's not just about praising, praising, praising. You get to a point where you worship God for who God is, you catch the revelation of who God is. Oh, you are holy. Angels are crying holy. As you begin to worship God in the beauty of his holiness. And may I add this? Go and check where signs and wonders, raw miracles, the lame are walking, the blind are seeing, the deaf are hearing, the dumb are speaking. It's not doing. Hey, 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 bangala, 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 bangala. No, it is through worship. It's when we begin to, when people forget about whatever they are going through, they begin to acknowledge God, they begin to worship Him. What will happen? The miraculous will begin to happen because. I don't know how to explain it. And I'm sure people, are, at least the little I can do, you, you are getting it, that you, as you begin to worship miracles. Because then, at that time, we are actually lifting Jesus up. We are adoring the Father. Because, go and check out some of the songs that are for dancing, dancing, dancing. Some of them does not even have anything to do with God. Sorry, you. It's just ourselves. Let me remember. Let me see if I can remember any one of them now. Some of them are just when you actually sit down, you look at the wordings of the song. It is for this earth. It has nothing to do with heaven. It's just for us. And may God help us. That's why praise and worship leaders be more spiritual. Don't just have been a praise and worship leader before. And in those days, we didn't we didn't really know much. But thank God, in those days, the songs we have, there are those choruses that were scriptural. That, that that are based on scriptures like amen amen blessings and glory thou art worthy everything is in revelation oh lord my god how excellent is your name you understand but these days somebody can just compose anything once the rhythm is fine church people most church people are running with it they won't sit down and say this song i am singing where is god mentioned where is jesus lifted we are his Holy Ghost being glorified. Or oh, I'm just singing just to stir my soul. That's why may God help us. God wants us to worship him. Those who worship God must worship God in spirit and in truth. You know, when it comes to songs, whether praise or worship, or say worship, as a worship leader, you need to pray to God that your son, because as a worship leader, your song must be able to transcend yeah. every barrier. There are people who are spiritual we able to connect to it. Yes. Not every worshiper who worships God can people connect to their songs. Why? Because they too are not connected to God. Now, for people to connect to your song, you, this praise and worship leader, must be connected to God. Spiritual. When you are connected to God, other people will connect you to God mm. through that song. That's why you see some worship leaders. They be singing worship songs. People are not moved out there. What some people sing worship songs and people be crying. People be on the floor. Mm. People will be moved Why? because that person who is singing is connected to the source. Now it's very important for you as a pastor, as a song leader, as whatever, to be connected to the source. Because when mm. you are connected to the source, then you can connect other people to the source, and yeah. everyone will be moved out there. Carry them along. Carry them along. But when you are not connected to the source. Mm. It's just, sorry to say, it's just noise making. And somebody put here, gospel celebrities, yes. it's just noise making. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry to say, there are so many noise making out there. Too much. If, if you are a child of God, you are the spirit of God. If you enter an, a, 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 a church and the atmosphere is of God, you will know your spirit will link straight mm -hmm. away. And you you just dive straight away and you'll be able to connect straight away because that is the spirit of God. Uh, and you're a child of God and you are you go to a place and you cannot connect, you cannot connect. That means that 
there's no connection between the person who is leading the song and God, the source. But when you are connected to the source, you can now transmit. You know, when you are connected to the source, it's like trans. It's just like I don't want to use the word disease, but it's just like something that you can transmit. You're able to transmit it to it's everyone who's electric. Who is electric. You can transmit it, and people can catch it there because it charges the atmosphere. Hallelujah. And when the atmosphere is charged, mm-hmm. everybody can connect to that atmosphere. Mm-hmm. So I believe that pastors, worship leaders, praise leaders must always be the Lord. Let's, whenever I am ministering, let me connect to the source. Yeah. When you connect to the source, Holy Ghost. it electrifies. The, the Bible says that, I think, Luke, I can't remember, Luke 7, is it Luke 7, Luke 7, 11, something like that, that the power of God was present to, to heal. Why? Well, because Jesus was there, so mm. the power of God came down, and the power of God was present to heal. So in each of our services, in each of our songs, the target should be the power of God should be present to work wonders, signs, and miracles. Because it is only the power or the presence of God that works that miracle. It's not by force. It's not by by trickery. It's not by deceit. Luke five it's, seventeen. Luke five seventeen. Five seventeen. It's not by. It is by the power of God. And what does this say, Pastor? It says, and it came to pass, and it said that it was yeah. teaching there. Let me see, let me open yeah. it up. Mm. As he was preaching, I'm just yeah. yeah. And it came to pass on a certain day as he was that's Luke five seventeen, mm. Luke five seventeen. And it came to pass on a certain day as he was teaching that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by, yes, which were come out of every town of Galilee mm. and Judea and Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was present that's to it. heal them. See, that's what churches need. We all need the presence of God. Yes, in our services, is the presence of God that makes the difference. It's not the church building. It's not the media you have. It's not the music you have. It's not anything. But it's the, if somebody has the best musicians in the house <coughs> and they have the, the, the best instruments in the house and they have the best vocalists in the house singing and the presence of God is not there. It's just an orchestra. It's entertainment. Yes. It becomes an orchestra whereby you can go to Albert Hall, those who are in London will understand, Albert Hall, and go and listen to an orchestra singing. What makes a difference is the presence of God. So, mm-hmm. churches must be praying for the presence of God to show in the service. When there's the presence of God in the service, then the power of God will come down and there will be signs and wonders and miracles and everybody will go there and feel the presence of God. May God give us that grace to be able to feel the presence of God when we go to church in the name of Jesus. And that has to do with the pastors, with the leaders, everybody who, who is running the service, you understand? That is, they must be spiritually discerning and strong and must be able to connect to the source. But when you connect to the source, you can connect others. May God help us in Jesus' name. In other words, going to church, when the Bible says, um, John, John, is it John, John 4, 23, Mm. That those who worship God must worship God in spirit and, and in truth. truth. Yes. God is saying we must have an encounter. Yes, sir. Anytime anybody will go to church, there's no and an, an, if there's no encounter, they've just been to a social club. Of course, sir. Social club. They are, they are drinking and partying. But when you go before when we go before the living God, mm. we must have an encounter. We, we that is we will, we we must never leave a service. The, the same, same way, way we came. By mm-hmm. the time we are leaving, something must have happened to us. Yes. And that is how our lives can change for mm. the best. But if day in, day out, somebody is just going in as if they are going into a social social gathering. gathering. Church is not a social gathering. Mm. It is a spiritual gathering where we connect with the Holy Ghost, where we connect with the God of heaven, where our destinies can have meaning. That's why every individual must make up his or mind. I say, you know what? Every time I go to church, I must make sure I have an encounter. I said something last week. I said, be in church before you get to church. Mm. That is, you prepare yourself. You prepare your mind. Though, for instance, don't and don't be on the phone and especially on a Sunday morning. Don't be on the phone and you are in these all sorts of things before you get into church because you see our mind is the battleground. Our minds get here and there. So if somebody is not already preparing him or herself before coming into the church, it could take time. I know these days people don't want to stay long in church. No church has five hours to give to church members anymore. Those days are gone. I remember I used to go for one meeting, um, IGOC. I think they sing for maybe 15 minutes in those days. If you like, the PC be playing. By the time they finish, somebody will 
think they are starting. No, they have already finished. So if you cannot connect within those few minutes because everything is on time, if you can't connect within those few minutes, sorry. That means everybody must be prepared. And I pray God will help us. You see, we have to be, we have to be God conscious. Christianity is not a playing, it's not a playing matter. Did I not tell you a story now? Somebody saw somebody in the morning or um, during the day pouring things on the floor. When the when the woman will see somebody coming, we hide the thing, we stop. And then the moment there's nobody, she didn't know the woman was in the car watching her. She will pour something on the floor in this London. And then she'll be speaking, speaking, speaking. When somebody will appear, we quickly put the thing inside her bag. Who knows what she was what she was doing? So how would now one born again say, when I go to church? As even if I have the time, let me just be playing. It does not work like that. Oh. The Bible says, um, um, that's a word, I'm, that's a verse I'm looking for now, where it says, if you want to serve God, the Bible says, woe to those who go to, it says, woe to those who are at ease in Zion. So God wants us to be fervent in our serving the Lord. I pray God will touch every life. Nobody has arrived though. We can always be better. God will help every one of us so that we can serve God effectively so that there can be answers to our prayers because you see, if all we know is Jesus and we and we go to where Jesus is being called, then let us get more serious. Let us be serious with the Jesus we are calling on. One thing in summary, one thing I want to say is that <clears throat> you cannot worship God in a hurry. That's one thing. You that is it. Oh. Give time mm. to God. That Lord, we have so much amount of time for worship, and if you don't come down, sorry, God, we stop our worship and go on. You cannot serve God in a hurry, and that's why you see in services sometimes you have to have a worship service or a praise service. Worship service so that you can have more time mm. to worship God and and interact and have and come and be in the presence of the Father. But worship cannot be in a hurry. You know, That's one thing we should note. Worship cannot be in a hurry. And may God help us in Jesus because many churches today are in a hurry to finish. Everybody's guilty of that. Of course, everybody in Korea, everybody, us, everybody is in a hurry to finish. Everybody is guilty. And everybody is in a hurry, but God is not in a hurry. hurry. God will come when he sees the atmosphere and the conditions right. are right. God will not come when the conditions... And if, for example, if you are about to hit it for God to come and you stop that, God will not come again. No, God because, will not because of that. Uh -huh, you, you have not got into the right atmosphere. Hmm. We need to connect to, with God in the right atmosphere, the right state of mind, the right, the right condition. And when we do this, the presence of God will come down. But when the conditions are not, it's just like chemistry. There are some conditions that has to be met. Some chemicals have to be at a certain temperature. Some have to be at a certain temperature, mm. pressure. Some have to be in a liquid state. Some have to be in a solid state. Now, if all these conditions are not met, then there will be no chemical reaction. So also, if all the conditions are not met with worshiping God, then God will not come down. It's as simple as that. That's why you cannot worship God in a hurry. Mm -hmm. May God help us in Jesus' name. That's why. Mm -hmm. And I stand to be corrected. Check it out. Those ministries that the blind are seeing, the lame are walking, the deaf are hearing, hunchback are disappearing, cancer are dropping physically. Beloved, they worship. There's this thick worship. And I mean worship. That's why all of us, let us prepare ourselves to worship. And may God help every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. If you want to give your life to Christ, just as mm -hmm. time, time has gone, and God bless us all in Jesus' name, Pastor. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I, come before, I you. come before you. I am a sinner. I'm a sinner. Forgive, me my Forgive sins. me my sins. Wash me with your, blood. With your blood. I accept you. I accept you. As my Lord and, and Savior. Savior. Thank, you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you have just said that prayer, congratulations. You've just been born again. Your name has just been written in the last book of life. Get yourself a Bible. Get into a living church and begin to serve the Lord. I'm saying God wrote what in your life. And in case you are living in London or around London, we invite you into Body of Christ Christian Center. That's the address on the screen where you can be taught the Word of God and where you can grow spiritually and God will bless you in Jesus' name. And then let's just pray that Lord give me the grace to be able to worship mm. you and have the time 
to worship you. Let's begin to tell them Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, it was a grace and time to worship you in spirit and in truth. I want to spend more time in your presence. Give me the grace, oh God. Let me use my time wisely, oh God. Give everyone the grace to use that time wisely, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we pray for that grace in Jesus' name to worship you in spirit and in truth, to know you, mighty Father, to for the conditions to be conducive for you to come, even in our churches, even also even in our own private prayers in you. It was the grace not to be so much in a hurry, but to carry in your presence. Thank you, Lord. We give all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you. It's well, quickly, let's give you a download of our programs. And God will bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Every Sunday we have couples forum. Join us this Sunday, 8 p.m. And God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. And on Wednesday, have also like this, 7 p.m. Join us. Your last and never remain the same again. Amen. And please don't forget all our weekly programs in church every Friday, apart from the third Friday of the month. We come every Friday. Um, hear my cry. I'll stop. Okay, no, I just... Anyway, let me finish that one. Okay. You can come to church every Friday. We have a service 7 to 8 o'clock. But the last Friday, about the third Friday of the month, we have, we have um, what's it called? Night prayer, midnight prayer. 12 midnight, join us the third Friday of every month. And God will bless us in Jesus' name. And hear my cry every day, 7 o'clock, every Monday. Hear my cry, 6 a.m. in the morning, every day. Every Monday, 10 p.m. UK time and 1 o'clock Wednesday afternoon. God bless you. Amen. And then our monthly programs, uh, first, uh, Friday, third Friday of every month, which is this Friday, we have 9 VG. Join us 12 minutes. And, God will be, and last day of every month, we have what we call Giga Experience. Join us 1145 as we cross over into a new month. And God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. So please. And you know what? Everything we are talking about is on the screen. Screenshot it so that you can always go back to it. And God bless you. And please don't forget our program coming up on Saturday, Flame of Fire Women's Conference at Body of Christ Christian Center. That's the details on the screen. By the grace of God, 10 o'clock. Make sure you don't come late. Come early and God will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Don't forget our International Christian Conference coming up by the grace of God. Um, 1st of April to 7th of April. We have to change us Monday to Friday. Join us and God will bless you in Jesus' name. 12 noon at 6.30 p.m. And on Saturday, 4 p.m., we have the youth conference and Sunday Thanksgiving conference. I'll probably tell you more about the team and everything. The theme is um, Total Freedom. <coughs> this program is for you. Make sure you come, you come. Your life will not be the same by the grace of God. We said International Christian Conference. We have Pastor Williams all the way from Australia. We have Pastor Bahati from Tanzania. And we have Pastor Joshua Deborah from Nigeria. And we have the host by the grace of God. And as you come, your life is going to be the same in Jesus' name. And very importantly, admission is free. Yes. You will not be charged at the gate or at the door. So come in and I know you'll be blessed in the name of Jesus. And God is going to work his wonders and miracles, even in every life and destiny in Jesus' name. Amen. And that's the address of the church. We are taking this opportunity to invite you to church. You know what? Come and the Lord will bless you and work his wonders Amen. and miracles, even in your lives and destinies. Sundays Amen. at 10 a.m. and Fridays at 7 p.m. except the third Friday. And God will bless in Please and prosper mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. Amen. Before we go, let's pray for you and God will work his wonders. Pastor, pray for us. Father, Pastor. we want to thank you, yes. O oh God, for your grace upon every life. Be glorified, O oh God, in the name of Amen. Jesus. We join our feet together and we'll pray tonight. The Lord will perfect that which concerns every life in the name of Jesus. Amen. And the grace and the anointing to seek the Lord, the more we receive tonight in the name Amen. of the Lord. It shall be well with every Amen. one of us. Whatever is challenging every, any, anyone's faith, let there be a miracle in the Amen. name of Jesus. Let there be answers to prayers. Amen. Father, we give you the praise. We give you the yes, glory. Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Once again, thank you very much for joining us. God will bless you. Thanks Amen. for your comments. Thanks for your joining. Thanks for everything. God will bless, increase, and prosper you. And God will honor you. You can visit Amen. our website for more information on the church and our programs. And God will bless, increase, Amen. and prosper you in the name of Jesus. Once again, thank you for joining. And God will bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we share the grace and fellowship, please? May the, the grace, grace of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, the love, love of God, God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye.